they've been in the business even longer than you realize. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities you didn't know were child actors. Don't look at me like that. All I said was these things in church. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the big name actors who got their start before turning 15 years old. Well, what do we play first? How about some leapfrog? Okay, come on, Tubby. Number 10, Ben Affleck. You know what the best part of my day is? This Oscar winner got his big break as Chucky Sullivan in Good Will Hunting, a movie that he co-wrote with Matt Damon. However, Affleck got started in show business at the age of seven in the movie The Dark End of the Street, which was directed by a friend of the family. Later, he would star in The Voyage of the Mimi, an educational children's television program. How are things at home? Ma's okay, but he still has to stay in bed for two months. While he started early, Affleck has made it clear that he did not have a Hollywood kid lifestyle and that there was never pressure from his parents. It was just sort of a thing he wanted to try. Luckily, I didn't end up on a show and get famous and go on crack and go crazy. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> Number nine, Kurt Russell. Ah! It's a good one. It's a good one, boy. While he was branching off into film at an early age, it was on TV where he made some of his first breakthrough performances. At the age of 11, Russell got his start on television, starring first in an uncredited role on Dennis the Menace, and eventually getting parts in shows like The Man from UNCLE, The Fugitive, Gunsmoke, Gilligan's Island, and Lost in Space. Russell's most regular TV work was on the Western program The Travels of Jamie McFeeders, on which he played the title character of Jamie. Number eight, Elizabeth Moss. So how many trains did it take you? Only one, but I got up very early. In a couple of years with the right moves, you'll be in the city with the rest of us. Well before she was rocking it as Peggy Olsen or winning Emmys for her work on The Handmaid's Tale, she was getting her start on the NBC miniseries Lucky Chances. And to think, Moss was just eight at the time. I can't, kid. Daddy's gonna take a little trip. But it's my birthday. I know, sweetheart, I know. She later starred in the 1995 made-for-TV remake of Escape to Witch Mountain, along with various other small film and television roles. Moss also cut her teeth on a fair amount of voice acting in films like Once Upon a Forest, specials like Frosty Returns, and animated shows like Batman the Animated Series. Ooh, it's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Number seven, Paul Walker. And say hi to Ashley and Paul Walker. While he passed tragically young, it might surprise you to know that Walker also got started in acting at an extremely young age. As a baby, Walker starred in his first commercial for Pampers Diapers, after which he began modeling at just two years old. From there, he branched out into acting, getting parts on Who's the Boss, Touched by an Angel, and The Young and the Restless. His first film credit was at 13, with the horror comedy Monster in the Closet. Walker packed more into a short life than most do on average. Have you ever heard of an ultrasonic energy augmenter? Ultrasonic energy augmenter? No, I don't believe I have. Number six, Lawrence Fishburne. How old are you? 17. Though he's known today for playing complex characters and intense mentors with their own agendas, it might be strange to think that Fishburne got his start at 12 playing series regular Joshua Hall on the long-running ABC soap opera One Life to Live. At age 14, Fishburne scored a supporting role as Tyrone Miller in Apocalypse Now. Although the character was actually 17, Fishburne lied about his age in order to get the gig. Ironically, however, it took so long to finish the film that Fishburne had actually turned 17 by the time it hit theaters. I told them that I was 16 when I had my interview. And you were 14. I was 14. <laughs> I think they knew. I don't think I was fooling anybody. Number five, Mila Jovovich. Uh, my parents and I pretty much defected. We escaped Russia in the early 80s. And when wow. we got to America, I mean, we started from zero, really. After leaving the USSR with her family at the age of five, Jovovich had a more challenging start than others on this list. Following a move to LA, her mother, a famous actress when they lived in Moscow, originally tried to get into acting, but found the language barrier too hard. 
the focus was turned to young Mila, who had become fluent in English in just a few months. We've been at school for hours. Will we be going in a classroom today? At the age of 10, she was enrolled in acting lessons, and three years later, she landed her first professional role in the TV film The Night Train to Kathmandu. After that, more gigs were quick to follow. I don't know why I'm getting so upset. Number 4. Jeff Bridges We're gonna win the Olympics! At least I am! This dude did not abide. In fact, he jumped right in with both feet. At the age of 9 in 1958, he, along with his father Lloyd, who was the star, and his brother Bo, appeared in several episodes of the adventure television program Sea Hunt. Let me see it again, huh? Promise you won't tell anybody? Scout's honor! However, he had made his first screen appearance years earlier, at not quite two years old, in the movie The Company She Keeps. He also made several appearances on his father's anthology series The Lloyd Bridges Show. When acting is a family business, getting started must just come naturally. But the, I think the thing that I, I learned most about the acting from him was um, just the joy in which he approached the thing. Number 3. Jake Gyllenhaal Why are you wearing that stupid bunny suit? While only 21 when he broke out with the science fiction mindbender Donnie Darko, in which he co-starred and played brother to his real-life sister Maggie Gyllenhaal, he was no newcomer. Thanks to family ties, he landed the role of Billy Crystal's son 10 years earlier in City Slickers. My dad's named Mitch, and he's… he's a submarine commander. He often appeared alongside his sister, or worked under the direction of his father, Stephen Gyllenhaal. Despite an early interest in acting, his parents were reluctant to let him take on any roles that would remove him from the family for long stretches at a time. And that is why we never got to see him in The Mighty Ducks. Oh, man, it's my mom. She looks pissed. Number 2. Scarlett Johansson Look, I'm not letting you go in there alone. You want to help? Keep the car running. Okay. This versatile actress is best known for her parts in films like Lost in Translation, the Prestige, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But considering all her years of acting experience, maybe it's no surprise that she's so easily able to assume new roles. As a child, she auditioned for commercials, and then moved on to film by the age of 9. By 12, she'd been nominated for an Independent Spirit Award for Best Lead Female for her role as Manny in the dramedy Manny and Lo. What's wrong with you? Already getting attention, her standout role came in 1998 at age 14, when she landed one of the leads in The Horse Whisperer. It was all uphill from there. Daddy? I don't want to go. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Well, I play Derek Taylor, <coughs> and I'm kind of like, um, well, not not almost a bully to Ricky, but more of just, um, I just get the kick out of just doing evil things to him, not nice things. Run too fast, jump too high, walk too much, always try to ask for more. Give your best, let your dream do the rest. Jeez, Mud, how much you got in there? Well, it's a lot. I mean, it's everybody's money for the whole summer. You know, I just thought I'd hold on to... Yeah, right. I think I'll just hold on to my own midget. No, Tim, I don't think that's such a good idea. Number 1. Bruce Lee <laughs> Lee Jung fat better known by his stage name Bruce Lee, got a start in theater at a young age thanks to his father, Lee Hoi Chun. A famous opera singer, he introduced his son to the acting world very early as a baby. <laughs> By the time the young Lee was 18, he had already landed roles in 20 films. One of his best-known early roles is that of the titular kid in The Kid, a part that he took on at the age of 10. <laughs> Based on a comic book character, the film also starred his father. He worked regularly in the Hong Kong and later American film industry, becoming the martial arts legend we know today. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.